Hi everybody, welcome to the Rubber Room. It's Create with Chris live on Monday night at 7 o'clock. I'm coming to you from Rochester Hills, Michigan. We had kind of a nice morning this morning and then it got all gray and yucky out. So I enjoyed the morning coffee on the deck, which was wonderful. Tonight I'm going to share with you um, some cards from the Botanical Prince Suite. I have updated my calendar on my Stampin' Up! website. So at www.rubberroom.stampinup.net and go to the events and you can find everything there. I'm going to be starting some new classes. I have a new club I'm going to be starting so I'm pretty excited about April. And um, some of my Zoom classroom, some of my classrooms will be held in Zoom so we can interact and see each other. So I'm excited about that. And um, let's see what else is going on. <laughs> How are you guys all doing? Surviving in um, our still sheltering in place situation, I hope. I wanted to share with you, I have a friend that's kind of a a rebel girl and she dropped off a card for me um, we of course didn't let her into our house because we're that kind of people now. <laughs> nobody yet <laughs> so but I did want to share it with you because it is one of those cards that could have been made by that Michelle it is absolutely breathtaking so she used the garden gate stamp set and then I'm not sure about the other one that I had written it down but I don't have it so this is it I think you can see the whole thing I'll back it up to right here okay this is the outside of the card and then it opens up like this so it's kind of a pop-up when it opens okay right and if that is not cool enough look what happens you open up this little gate and look inside there's a little kitty there's some flowers and then a little kitty with some flowers isn't that gorgeous that is just amazing to me absolutely breathtaking I'll get a good picture of it that um, I can share with you because I just love it how cool is that how could you not love a card like that gorgeous 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 so I might have to figure out a way to display it without putting it in the frame. So one of the things I'm going to start. Oh, thank you, Lisa Brown. I love it. <laughs> um, one of the things that I'm going to be starting is a kit club. We are all inside our homes looking for something to do. And I find that crafting is a great de-stressor for myself. If you're home with kids, it's a great thing that you can do with them to get them interested and to kind of keep them entertained, especially on a rainy day. So what we're going to do and I'll chat more with you about this on Saturday. I actually have it scheduled as an event on Saturday. But it's going to be for three months, and we're going to buy one kit each month. And each kit will come straight to you. I will then put a, I will provide you with a link where I am doing a video sharing three alternate cards that you can make with that kit. And I will also send you kits for those at an extra cost if you'd like to do those. So here's what happens. You have this kit called, let's see, these, these three kits are all-inclusive kits. So they come with stamp sets, cards, um, ribbon, ink spots. So you get all of these things in each of those kits. And I'll share some of the actual kits and cards with you, like I said on Saturday, but they are all inclusive. So you can make tons more cards than what are in those kits originally. And that, like I said, they're excellent for when you are, are stuck inside and need something to do. So we also have what we call medallies, and that's what I'm going to share with you tonight. This is the Botanical Prince Medley, and it comes, it's in your mini catalog and towards the back of your catalog, and it comes with all of these great items in it that you see here. These are great designer series papers. 
And that is on page 61 of your mini catalog. Okay, so you're gonna get, there are six different patterns of designer series paper that you get. And I actually am gonna flip you down because I think it'll be easier for you to see that way. So let's, you're gonna get some lights on and flip you down so you can kind of see what is going on. Okay, so I think I want to be about here. Perfect, okay? So you're going to get these great designer series papers. And there's 48 sheets in all of these designer series papers. Okay, so you get this black one, this black stripe. And on the other side, it's got those great lemons. I like that they've made the lemons black and white on that bright yellow. Actually, it's crushed curry paper. And then you get these. I like this kind of black and white. I think that's really pretty. And then they've done the same thing. They've made the background paper crushed curry and left their image in a black and white. And I love this. If you're into black and white cards or monochromatic cards, these black and white designs are absolutely beautiful. And then this, this is the um, terracotta tile color behind it. And I love those flowers. Those flowers look so, so soft. And then this one, and again, another terracotta tile with it and the fruit and the flowers. I think those might be magnolias, although they look kind of small for magnolias. So, and then this great black piece with the pretty peacock behind it. I love that pretty peacock. So those are your different, there must be one more in there that I didn't take out because there's another pretty peacock one. So that is, those are your, Yep, here's the other one. So it's this um, little berries on the pretty peacock side, and then that on the other side. And I'm just kind of the opposite of this black and white. And any of these coordinate with each other perfectly. And then you get this little bag full of these little bees. I don't know if you can see them. They may be bees or dragonflies even. I guess you could... Nope, they're B. It's a metal B, and it's gold. Isn't it cute? That you could use, too, with the um, the B set. That would be really cute with that. So you get a little 12 copper-colored beads. Bees. And then you get these laser prints. And they're pretty peacock on one side, and very vanilla on the other. And those you get four of. And then you've got these little labels. You get two sheets like this. And your stamp sets with your sentiments coordinate and fit right in there perfectly. Put that one aside because we are going to use that one. And then you also get two sheets like this. I love those really, really vivid colors. Those look um, like plums. They look so, like you could almost eat them. The, the colors are so soft and lifelike there. So I'm going to put one of those out because we are going to use it. Okay, let's move that out of the way. And then you're also going to get this old olive ribbon, which I think is absolutely beautiful. And that will make some really pretty cards too. And you get botanical print dies. So they look like this. I really love this corner piece. That's a decorative piece that's gonna get a lot of use. I'm gonna pull this one out because we are gonna use it. And I like those little leaves too. You can never have too many leaves to pop out behind things, flowers. And then you get this great stamp set. I really like the sentiments in here. I went to um, mount my stamps so we could use them tonight. And um, I always put my labels on the back of them so I know 
what's what because I am easily confused. But when I went to put my labels on, just to prove they were human um, at Stampin' Up, my labels are in a different language. So you can see down there, it says botanical prints. And then they're all, I'm thinking maybe German. So that's not going to help me on the back of my stamp. <laughs> So I'm going to have to do the old look and see what it is. But these, I, I love the sentiments. And again, I like all of the detail in these images because they look like they are really 3D images. So we are going to let me get rid of some of this stuff. This is a card that I made just quickly whipped up with the designer series paper back here. And I did use one of those little punch outs for that. And this I stamped on whisper white paper and then cut out with my framelit. You could easily add some color there. Use your wink of Stella. But I just wanted to share with you how quick and easy it is to make a card using these kits. The kits in the metalies are absolutely wonderful products. So we're going to do kind of a takeoff on that. One of my downline challenged us to a monochromatic card. So I'm going to do one monochromatic using that same style. So we'll bring my little paper cutter in here. And I don't know if you guys have seen our pa new paper trimmer, but I absolutely love it. So I have my basic gray card stock. And it is five and a half scored at four and a quarter. So it's five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter and that's going to be our card base and then we're going to layer this piece of basic black on there and it is five and a quarter by four so i've cut it off a quarter of an inch on the, the side and the bottom of it and that's just kind of our basic top layer and so now i'm going to add this piece of paper onto the top of that so i'm going to go another quarter of an inch so I'm going to go five inches by three and three quarters of an inch. Get rid of that. And that is going to layer right on top of here. Okay, so I have those three layers real quick and easy and again you could easily flip that cardstock over I don't know why I'm using my scrap piece and use it on this side which would be really just another gorgeous card and I would flip it this way I think if I was going to use it on this side but that would be really really pretty also okay so you're getting the idea quick and easy right so we'll adhere these all down Um, oh, can you believe I did that? That's not good, is it? <laughs> see, if I only had a brain, right? Let's see if I can find my snail adhesive here, or my adhesive remover here. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I really want this side to go up so it can go, I can use it for my monochromatic challenge. So what I'm gonna do is just to lightly put some adhesive on my colored side and then put it down here. And when I mount that on top of my black, it's gonna give me a little bit stronger of a Place where I can just take my adhesive remover, take my snail off. Happy Monday. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. So sometimes you can just let where you put your adhesive determine which side of your cardstock you want to use. But I'm going to let that German proffer in me be determined to overcome tonight. And we'll do it just like that. 
Nobody will know what happened, right? Okay, I'm gonna put some basic black on there. I think I'm gonna use my bone folder and just crisp this fold up for you. Okay, and then put that on there. And again, I'm thinking I kind of might like it better going this way than this way. So I think we'll leave it that way. And I'm going to put this back because we're not really going to use it. And I don't want to lose it. I used it before on this card because that's the one I stamped and I cut out with that frame line. But I think for this one, I'm just going to add a sticker to it. So, let's go in, and I think, gosh, I kind of like this plum one, but they're not really plums, so I'll go this way, and we'll use this orange with it. I think that will look pretty. Okay, so then I'm going to take, I'll put this aside for a minute, and I'm going to take these stickers that came in my package, and... I'm going to pop one of these out, and I'm going to use my same sentiment that says, I'm always here for you, which is one that comes with this medley, and I have to look at it because without my sticker, I'm not sure which way it's going, right? Okay. So... I am just going to put some dimensionals behind here so we can pop it up a little bit and give it a little bit of dimension to our card. And I think I am going to keep it this going in this direction. Just for funsies, right? Okay, so it's going to open that way. So I'm going to put this a little over halfway down. And then, well, that's pretty straight. I usually get it pretty crooked when you guys are watching. So then I'm going to add a couple of dimensionals to the back of my little die cut piece. I'm going to peel the back of them off so they're nice and sticky. And then I'm just going to kind of lay that right on top there. Okay, so there's another really quick, easy card that you can do with this medley, and everything really coordinates well, so I hope you liked it. And this one, just in case you're interested, this is the um, Label Me Pretty Punch, and I used that punch for the background piece here. So this is the piece that I punched at, or that I punched out from the kit. And then I just layered it on a piece of black that was punched out from here. And I think I really like the way that they coordinate together there. So, all right, that's all I have to share with you guys tonight. I thank you for being here. Let's see if I can get you up here. Hi, Jackie and Barb. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. It's good to see you. I guess I really don't get to see you see you, but... <laughs> We're going to take what we can get with these and um, let me turn some lights off so you don't see the glare on my glasses. There we go. So I hope that you guys will be here with me next week and um, I'll share some more creative ideas with you, okay? Stay safe and healthy, everybody. Bye-bye.